I've never done that before. I've never just kept dancing with somebody when they came out. <laughs> well, I remember this time on the Ellen Show, we were dancing and it was a happening. We should do that. We should actually do an interview one day where I just dance with somebody and talk. Because people dance and talk I wish anyway. We could do it now. Well, we could. Because it's cold. <laughs> but then, I know. Um, I, always, I always think it's hard to dance and talk because you lose the beat, and all of a sudden, when you realize you start paying attention to the music, you're completely off beat. You're just kind of like talking, and you're not even paying attention to the rhythm. So it's you either dance or talk, I say. Let's talk. All right. <laughs> Let's get down to it. All right. Why did you bring your little pocket purse out here? Because I just can't stay. I just came to dance and go. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Um, I've, I've brought you a surprise. Okay. Because I know that you have said that you're making a commitment to uh, daytime glamour. Mm hmm And I have for you in here a tiara. Oh. <laughs> This is nicer than the one I have at home. <laughs> now, well, it's funny that you should say that because that's actually how I came to bring you one because I was talking about it with one of your producers and I always wear a tiara when I sort of get down or feel bad about myself and I used to only do it at home and then it got to the point where I started wearing it out and I just decided that it just needs to become a staple because it just makes you feel so much better and I mean, well yours, yours was expensive but you can get them really cheap. But that was like two hundred thousand. How much was yours? My, <laughs> I stole mine. Yeah, well, it'll make you feel a lot better when you're in prison too. <laughs> you can't go around stealing things. Now, what no, you, it was actually my grandmother's. You actually, it was your grandmother's. It was my grandmother's. And why would she wear a tiara? Well, I think back in the day of you know the sort of glamour of the '40s, they used to just sort of throw a tiara on with their evening gown. But that's when people wore like long skirts when you came over, and just be like, "Hello." And they would wear a tiara back then. I think so. What's your grandmother live in Cleopatra times or something? <laughs> I'm very, very old, Ellen. I, I mean, <laughs> I was born in 18. So you, you just put it, you just put it on when you're feeling blue and wear it around the house, and it changes your mood. It, it does. It kind of started one day I was just cleaning my house and it was sitting there and I sort of was dusting around it and I was, I just become an actress and I just felt really down because no one ever wanted to hire me and you just always felt like you weren't right or weren't good enough or whatever. <laughs> I want to be able to hysterically laugh. <laughs> He's like, what a loser. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not working. No, no tear makes it better. No, no, she, she's laughing because she can't believe that other people do it as well. <laughs> Is it um, my grandmother? So, <laughs> so, so you were dusting around it and you just put it on and? I just put it on and I felt better. And uh -huh. so I kind of just sort of wore it around while I cleaned the house and then, you know, another month went by and I kind of felt bad again. So I thought, well, I'm just going to put it on and I'll feel better. <laughs> and then it just got to the point where I was like, well, I'm going out and it's my birthday, so I'll wear it. <laughs> and then it just became like, I've got to go to the cleaners. Right. <laughs> I'll wear it. Right. And, and uh, I think it's a good thing. I mean, it's better than, uh, than doing other things that people do to make them feel better. If we did this show dancing and wearing the tiaras, it would be sort of like older girls gone wild. Yes. It'd just be like... It would be, uh, yeah, like o older crazy girls gone wild. <laughs> Without the excitement of seeing breasts, uh, yeah. that, which is why they do those tapes, I think. I don't think they'd really be excited just seeing girls wear, dancing with tears on their heads. <laughs> Look, check this out. <laughs> <laughs> These ladies are... Too. Look at her. Just, you know, that would be a good tape, though, to see how many women would, would put a tiara on and dance for a tape. I think a lot. Really? Yeah. Let's start. Let's... My mom is backstage. Really? Yeah. We're going to take a break. We're going to get your mom out here wearing a tiara. We'll be right back. We're back with Emily Proctor, and we both are wearing tiaras, and we're very happy. I'm very happy. Nothing's now, wrong here. Nothing's wrong when you're wearing Not a at tiara. All. No. Um, so you you were talking about how hard it is to, to be an actress and to get jobs, and it is. It's a struggle until you to, a lot of rejection, a lot of. Uh, but before you were an actress, you were a, a weather girl in Raleigh, North Carolina. 
I was a weather anchor in Greenville, North Carolina, actually, which is a little bit smaller, and thus I was able to be hired. Uh -huh. uh, I was vastly underqualified for the job. Yeah, how do you qualify to be a weather girl? Did you go to meteorology school? <laughs> <laughs> You're wearing a tiara. Nobody yeah. noticed. No. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's what's good about it. Right. There's what? Out there. Um, no, actually, I was a full-time college student, and there was a vacancy at the station, and through a series of mishaps, I ended up with the job. Uh -huh. But uh, <laughs> the, the good thing for me was it was a fascinating, a fascinating thing to do. The bad part is that because I was a full-time college student, I would work and then I would go out and do things and so sometimes when it came time for me to go to work I'd be very tired so after I would do my weather segment I would usually put my head down and, and rest while I did the sports and you know <laughs> the news things like that yeah and um, the news <laughs> the news yeah uh, but I would always just sort of pick my head up at the end for the three shot and seem very professional but there was this one time and I unfortunately fell asleep and no one did anything about it until we came back on the three shot and I was completely down and then the anchor leans over and he's like Emily and I was like what <laughs> and I was not wearing this hat there was no deflection at all. That's hilarious. You just cut to everybody and you're just out on the whole table. Just out. And I think I had like a little a little dent on my forehead. Oh. It was really bad. Oh. Well, then, then you need a, 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 a tiara. Smooth things over. Yeah. Emily, uh, you're a joy to talk to. Thank you very much for being I here. I enjoyed being here. Thank so you very much. much. Thank you. CSI Miami Mondays at 10 o'clock on CBS. Celebrity Poker Showdown, which is on Tuesdays at 9 o'clock on Bravo. Don't go away. We'll be right back.